What's going on guys? Hope everybody's had a good weekend and is having an even better day. So we're back at it again with the Z. Um, I finally uh, lowered it. You guys can see. It looks a little weird. I've been used to used, uh, used to working on it now with it up on the jack stands. It was up a little more on my level. Now it seems like it's way too dang low. Way, way low. It just looks kind of odd now. I haven't seen it down like this since it had the VG in there. Anyways, so what I've been what I've been up to with this car uh, the last couple days, I've been trying. I was trying to get it started, like on the stock fuel system. Uh, I found another fuel rail. This fuel rail is a return style. The one that originally was on this motor is a returnless. So I got this fuel rail that goes with these uh, shorter style injectors. And then uh, I got some some uh, fuel injection line that I hooked up uh, with, with the stock uh, fuel lines. So this one feed, this other one here is return. Hooked it up. Me and one of my friends were trying to start it, but it would just crank up a little bit and then... Uh, and then turn right back off. We were trying to figure out what was going on there. Uh, from what I know is that, you know, you have to get the VAT, uh, VAT security system deleted off the PCM for it to run. But from what I've been reading up on is that the VAT um, controls injector pulse. So I went to check injector pulse. I have injector pulse. I have a spark, yet it's still not staying, uh, it won't stay running. So since I had it hooked up on the stock fuel system, I was thinking maybe the stock fuel pump just wasn't, uh, you know, strong enough to, to get enough fuel over here to put the right amount of fuel pressure up. But I mean, I, I have a fuel, uh, fuel pressure regulator hooked up right here. And right there, it's been sitting for a while. It's at 50 PSI and Let's see where I leave that wire. If I power up the fuel pump, you'll see that it goes up to almost 60 PSI. There it goes. It's like 58, 59. Um, that should be more than enough to start this engine. So I'm a little confused there as to why it won't start. Maybe it's still something with the vats that I have to get deleted. I'm pretty sure it is. Because it just it turns up and it turns on and then it turns right back off, and then after that it kind of just cranks, 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 and it like wants to start but it doesn't start. So that's where that that is. And I mean, and if I spray some brake cleaner in the in the intake, it starts right up and it stays running. So I'm guessing maybe it still has to do with the with the injectors not getting pulse, maybe something like that. Maybe the injectors aren't opening up. Maybe then it's been sitting for so long that it's just not. It's gonna take a while for it to start. I don't know. That's where I'm at right now, but kind of done messing with the fuel system now until uh, I take the PCM to get uh, flashed for the for the bad delete and deleting all the like emission stuff and all the stuff that I'm not going to be using. What I plan on doing right now is something that I should have done a while ago, and that is um, wire up the OBD2 connector. I don't know why I didn't do this to begin with to wire it into the into the uh, PCM connector because I mean all I need is this uh, purple wire right here this is the data the data signal the purple wire is data signal then you have these two grounds right here and then this orange one is your constant power so we just need a ground a constant power and then this one to the PCM connector for the data signal so that's what I'm about to do next all right, so first we need to uh, remove the PCM connectors. I have my PCM already routed into the into the car on the passenger side. I mean, I don't know where you guys might be putting yours, but this is where I routed mine into. It's a seven millimeter to take this thing off. Alright, 
So we're looking for pin 58 on the blue connector. So if we look on the back side of this guy, let's see, pin 57, 58. Wait, is that 58? Yes, 58 right here is next to... Oh, it's really hard to see. Let me see if I can get closer. Pin 58. Right there, right next to this orange connector. So, I'm already missing it. I don't remember taking it out. But, um, since I uh, redid this uh, the stock wiring harness... And I kept all of my uh, extra wires. I'm sure that I have a pin from the original harness and all the wires that I can uh, plug right in here. So let's see if I can find one. Right next to the car, we got all the wires. And there you go. See all the mess of wires that I got in here? This is, for the most part, all the crap that came off the stock harness that I've been using little by little to remake uh, what you see here and right here I have a whole bunch of pins maybe there's a purple wire in here that I can use to match up with the one on the OBD2 connector Alright guys, Let's see, so I got my wire and I made it pretty long since I had a bunch of extra wires. I found two, well one of them had a pin and it was a little bit short and then I found another purple one and I just soldered that one. Those two to each other and I that one pretty long and it, it reaches the length of the, the width of the car. So this will work. Now next thing is... We need to get this guy right here, this pin, in to uh, slot 58 over here. And I'm not sure if I have to remove this, uh, this little plastic cover and lift up the little uh, the little tabs that release them to push it in. I don't know if it was just to pull them out, but I guess we could try and try and push it in, see if it goes. No. It doesn't go through, so I think we're gonna have to take off these these uh, little blue covers. So to do this, it's real simple. I think <laughs> you should just be able to push uh, push on these little tabs and lift up. There you go. That's one side, and the other side. Easy, easy peasy. So next, let's see. Oh, and that would be why. <laughs> the piece was still in there. I must have ripped it out or something. That piece was still in there. I just pushed it out right now when I when I when I took the the plastic uh, the little plastic cover off. That's funny. All right, guys. Here's my uh, ghetto setup. Don't judge the wires, they're not gonna stay like that, but uh, we got power, we got ground, we got uh, the, the data wire, and now I'm just gonna, if it'll stay still, I'm gonna hook it up to my scanner and uh, see, if it, see if it connects. Oh, how about that? It connected. Oh, no, don't fall.
Yeah. Wow, let's see. Oop, battery is running low. General Motors. Auto select. Let's see if it'll read it or if I gotta turn the key on since I have everything hooked up to the to the key. That's crazy, it even says uh, battery voltage, 11.91. Oh, maybe I should turn the key on. Yeah, I'll go do that. Let's see, VIN read failed. Let's try it again now with the key on. Dang, picked it up right away. Four speed automatic. What the heck? Base radio. I don't know what the heck all this is. Light duty truck, 2005 GMC truck, 4.8. Full size truck, 4x2, 1500 half ton. All correct. Let me see if I can get it to where you guys can see, kinda. Let's see, control unit. Let's check powertrain. Trouble codes, probably gonna show a bunch of codes. Huh, that's weird. The only one that comes up is fuel tank pressure? <laughs> Circuit low v voltage. I wonder why that's the only one that comes up. That's weird. Hmm. Let's see. Additional DTC? Ah, there we go. O2 sensor, O2 sensor, O2 sensor. Throttle body airflow performance? Oh, not RAM. Mass airflow, mass airflow. Map. Intake air temperature, engine coolant, engine coolant. Holy crap, every single one? Fuel pump relay control, knock sensor. Crankshaft position sensor. Holy crap, I have every single freaking code. What the hell? Maybe I should, uh, brake switch circuit low voltage, torque converter. Of course, all the transmission ones will be there. Huh. Engine coolant temperature. I have, like, every single code for every connector that I have on there. Lost communication, electronic brake control lost communication with BCM hmm let me see if I can clear these codes and see what comes right back Oh, there we go. Theft deterrent start enable signal not received. That de theft deterrent. Torque converter clutch. Lost communication. Lost communication. Lost communication. Okay. So the only one I'm really worried about fuel level. Oh shoot! What the heck? Where did all these come from? Well, I have a crap load of codes. A lot of these don't really matter to me. Oh, that's the one. I guess this is the one I was looking for because it's not starting, even though I have uh, 
uh, injector pulse and spark. It says theft deterrent start enable signal not received. Maybe that has to do with that whole VATS thing. But then it says lost communication with BCM. From what I heard is that that's what you want. You wanted to lose communication with the BCM so that uh, you can start it without uh, without deleting that the the VATS. Hmm, I don't know. But the whole purpose of this video is to connect your OBD2 connector to your car. So <laughs> there it is. It works. Uh, what is it? Pin 58 on your blue connector on your PCM. Two black wires. Uh, ground. This orange wire. Constant voltage. All right, guys. That's gonna be it for this video. Um, I hope this was uh, informative for you guys. Uh, if anybody uh, is trying to hook up their uh, OBD2 connector on uh, on their swap, I mean this is obviously work for uh, anybody that's uh, using the stock harness on any swap that they're doing. It's just going to be the should be the same thing. I think the grounds changed a little bit, but you'll have one uh, the one. Uh, signal wire that goes uh, to the PCM your one uh, constant power and then your two grounds either one or two but mine has two and you just splice those two together anyways guys this is gonna be the end of the video uh, I'm gonna add a little uh, piece of uh, video of one of my good friends that came by hope you guys enjoy it we went on a few little pulls that thing is so quick and hopefully this thing can keep up at least as he so anyways guys that's gonna be it hope you guys enjoyed peace